Good afternoon from Kleinshire. I wanted to mulch some more, but we have a rainstorm this afternoon. I'm annoyed. I'm actually free from teaching, and I thought that I was going to get a lot done today, so instead here I am hanging out at the door of the pole barn. I was looking at my packing area, which is full of stuff, projects, detritus from last year, and I wanted to show you something. The remnants of the wood from last year, boxes, packages from packing produce. Well, what do we have here? Two bushels or a bushel and a half of butternut, still husked, still in their husks, simply because I did not get to them last fall and I was going to throw them to the pigs. I opened one up and I discovered they may still be good. I'm really excited. Let me show you. Well, here we are in the garage by the vice, and in a moment I'm going to show you why. But the story of this is that last fall I decided that we would harvest some of the nuts from the trees we have growing wild. I have half a bushel of hickory nuts in the house all dried and we've been enjoying them uh, this winter just cracking them. I also have half a bushel of black walnuts which are a lot like the butternuts and the black walnuts I had gotten to. I took the husks off, I had dried them in the sun and I had put them in the house and I still have to get to them, still have to crack them but there's no hurry because they're properly cured. These butternuts dropped a little later in the midst of all the busyness of the fall and I never got to them and it froze it became winter and they've been sitting in the packing area all winter long and as I was going to clean out the packing area a little bit this afternoon I thought I'd throw them to the pigs but I took the husk off one I cracked it open and I was surprised by what I found let me show you so this is the husk ordinarily I would take this off when it is um, in the fall it's still living we'll see how easily these come off but I'm just using my fingers getting the husk off inside you have the nut not very well cleaned like it would be if I were taking off a live husk, but good enough to get inside. These are hard nuts and I don't have uh, a real nutcracker. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it in the vise, tip to tip, and very carefully, I'm gonna crack it. There it goes, just enough. <clears throat> and here's what we find inside. Looks like we may need to crack, oh, we got part of it this time. Little pieces. Tastes great. I was not expecting that. You can see it's right in there though. Let's see if I can get this a little better. These are some hard shells. Bigger piece. Look at that. There's more in there too. So I'm going to spend a little time this afternoon seeing if I can devise a system that's a little more efficient and if I can harvest a pail of butternuts. I'll try to record it as I go. We'll see what I get. Beautiful.
Just gotta hit it in the right spot. I did some reading online about butternuts. Apparently they used to be a big thing in Wisconsin, but there is a disease, a, a canker, which affects the trees. And I didn't see anything online that said that they're illegal to harvest in Wisconsin. Um, but according to one thing I read online, it's actually illegal to harvest butternuts in Minnesota, to collect them, even to propagate them apparently, which is really strange. We do have just one butternut tree on the property. And I want to take a closer look at it now and see if maybe it has that uh, canker because it's not the healthiest. I thought it was getting attacked by woodpeckers. But now I'm wondering if in fact it has the disease which has wiped out a lot of the Midwest's butternut trees. That having been said, it, it drops a lot of nuts. And we've been feeding them to the pigs for the longest time but it wasn't until last year that we thought we'd make a concerted effort to harvest them. And the hickory nuts that grow from the hickory trees in the pasture, and also uh, the black walnuts. It's just the butternuts are the ones that we never did get around actually to preserving properly. They sat in the pole barn and I was so surprised and I'm so happy that it looks like I can save them. It's just I know I need to do it now because they have a really high moisture content. I have a feeling that once it warms up they would very quickly go rancid sitting in their shells whoops with the husks the way that they are. But as of today they are sweet, they taste good and I will either, Rosemary will roast them in the oven or else, possibly, I'll put them in the freezer. And another hour of this and after my experimental phase is over like this, I, I think that I'll have the better part of a gallon. This is what I have from just trying it out. Take a look. Those should taste good. All right, well, I'd better get back to work. Welcome back. I've been at this an hour. I can see why one would remove the husks as I did for the black walnuts when they're green. Not only does that allow the nuts to cure, but oh, yeah, it's a lot of work to get it off. But it's working. It is working. I'm, I'm getting the husks off. I've learned that um, the ones that never did dry out, like this one, for example, uh, I might as well leave alone. First of all, they're making my hands a mess. I remember that from the black walnuts. I tried to wear gloves when I did the black walnuts last fall. It's just that the gloves would eventually tear and my hands were stained for a week or more. I think I'm going to have that today even with these butternuts. Black walnuts are notorious for their, for their dye, for dyeing everything they touch black. Um, but I'm going to leave those wet ones alone first of all because they're a mess to clean and secondly when I crack them the nuts inside look fine but there's so much moisture that they're almost mushy and I mean they taste fine but they're just a lot of work to extract because they come out in pieces but the ones that are drier um, work out pretty well I've, I've discovered a few things in the last hour uh, the first is don't do it end to end but rather do it side to side because I'm more likely when I do that to get the nut out whole or at least in large pieces. When I do that, whoops, I lost some. This one didn't work out quite as well. Oh, there it fell. Perfect, actually. Look at that. Whole 
half right there. The other side is in pieces though. I'll extract a few of those pieces. Maybe, or I'll drop them on the ground. You can see the other half there. Lost it again. Got a nice piece there though. It's lost, it's gone. Let me give you a closer view. Most of a whole half again. So definitely sideways, not end to end. All right, so I've come in with what I got so far and put it in a jar, put it in the freezer. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Butternut from our own yard. It's glorious what you can find and process with a little elbow grease. We get our share, the pigs will get their share too. There's plenty of nut fragments in these shells. And then they're the whole ones that were too wet. So let's let me, I know you're excited, hey back up. Watch out, watch out. I'm gonna put it in your dish. Go. Try that. What do you guys think? Their jaws are so strong. Alright, we'll leave Mr. Porter and Petunia to it. I think they're enjoying their treat. This is Franz at Kleinshire. Subscribe, follow along. We're having fun this spring. God bless.